and another challenge as well is not finishing pieces to a recital in inverted commas like the performance standard because the last 200 years of music education in instrumental music has been about performing a recital probably without music and memorized and it's got to be hard music and you got to play it faultlessly and so breaking that paradigm is is a challenge too in teachers heads that it's okay to explore a lot of different things and not necessarily finish i mean you should of course it's it's a great challenge for students to finish and play something brilliantly and be really confident with it and learn it over time but if that's all you're doing then that is where the challenge the challenge comes and i think that's what i hear from you it's about being flexible and saying yeah we've got to do some scales but let's make it fun we need to make sure we do our theory but we're going to learn the theory by learning about the chords and the harmony of the pieces and things like that uh you're going to learn some pieces from the books and you use your way cool books others might use their method or whatever it is but you're supplementing the whole time what would you like to learn let's do that let's try it i don't even know what that piece is but i'm going to give it a shot is that a good summary of your approach yes it is in fact the the first thing i say at the beginning of every at every online lesson is what are we going to do today um uh, because they need to decide what we're going to do. And when I leave them, hey, are, are you cool with what we're doing right now? Do you want to continue this? Or is there another piece you'd like to look at? Um, and it's just to always be taking temperature, making sure that, that we're on target for them directing. When, mm -hmm. when I have parents who contact me and say, I want my child to do this regimen. I want them to be ready for these tests at this time. Um, this is what I want for them. Um, I always ask if that's what the student is interested in or if that's what they're interested in. And if they can't respond that, that their child is interested in that, that in, in that, that that's the parent that's being parent driven, then I just tell them that I'm the wrong teacher because mm. I, I don't want to do that anymore. I mean, I, I did that for a long time and my kids did well in auditions and I just patted myself on the back. I was such a good teacher because they did so good, but it was really about me, wasn't mm -hmm. it? <laughs> and that's what really good playing at recitals is about. A lot of times it becomes about the teacher um, uh, getting, I think it's about validation. We Piano teachers have a, have a hard job because they, they do their job in isolation. And they need validation. I, I do understand that. I'm really sympathetic to that because, but the validation could come, should come to us from a kid leaving their lesson saying, I can't wait to get home to try this out. I'm so excited about learning this piece. And that's, that's where it should come. Yeah. And the parents texting you midway through the week saying, what, what are you doing? Because I can't get Johnny off the piano. He is going crazy with this face. I, I mean, I really get validation from, yes, the student, but also the parent, the comments from the parents. Yep. Oh, he's, he's, he's playing more than he ever used to. And I've told stories about students who uh, have, particularly around that transition from elementary to high school, have mm -hmm. really fallen off the practice thing. And, 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 that, and that's so often when teachers will go, well, you know, Sarah's not been practicing for a month. Uh, I'm not wasting my time anymore. I'm not going to waste your money anymore. That's it. We're done. And mm -hmm. it's such a sad situation because I've proven time and time again that if you just take away that practice burden, as you <clears throat> sounds like you do, and don't ask, don't make your first question. So how much practice did you do this week? For God's <laughs> sake, please don't do that. Um, if you take away that pressure, suddenly the enjoyment comes back. Hey, just before you go, make sure you click here to subscribe and we've got thousands of other videos all on the topic of music education and teaching. So make sure you check out some of those other ones here and I'll see you in the next video.